Today I wanted to take you on this walk that meant so much to me every day. This walk used to represent everything that I loved out of my life. My education, my accomplishments, my dreams, my colleagues that I loved in the medical practice. As I do this walk today, I'm reminded of all of the emergency visits I've had over the last 15 months. I don't know what's happening. <laughs> As I do this walk today, I'm reminded of the countless hours I have spent trying to find support from my government. But I don't even think I can get into the original neurologist again for months. And I'm, I'm going to lose my house. Like, My name is Jamie Killen. I have known Kristen for about 20 years. We met when I first moved to town. In this little shoddy restaurant and she just had this like gigantically fun smile on her face and she was just like, hi, I'm Kristen. And I knew immediately that I loved her. Hi. Hi. Hello. Do not <laughs> put that in the video. <laughs> I think she looks great. I'm videotaping. <laughs> okay, here we go. As a healthcare practitioner, we were offered the shot right away. So it was like doctors, nurses, and then the rest of us. Our clinic signed up immediately. I think that's one of the hardest parts for Kristen, uh, is that she was one of the first people to go out and get this vaccine. From the day that I left the hospital, like every day I just got worse. They had me on heavy doses of prednisone and sleeping pills by that time, and I was just getting worse every single day. So we reached out to multiple media stations, radio stations, newspapers, nobody got back to us. Any mainstream media, we reached out to everyone and nobody would take our story. This documentary is absolutely not about what's right or wrong. It is only about allowing a place for these stories to be heard so that people in the public can see that there are people that have been left behind by this. They're human beings. This could be your mom, your dad, your brother, your kid. And it wouldn't feel fair if it was one of them. I wonder if I'm ever gonna get better and I miss the life that I had. That shot took it away from me. It was 25 minutes after I got it. 
and I've never been the same.